Hello, my name is Adeyemi for Clueless Junkie and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to work on renders in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. These renders were made with V-Ray, V-Ray for SketchUp. Uh, there's a, <coughs> excuse me, it's a render of a bungalow. So we're going to drag and drop them into Photoshop like this. And um, basically the first thing you want to do is click on that and... Um, Duplicate the layer by holding Control then J. So the next thing you want to go to adjustment, the adjustment panel, and click on the levels. On the levels, you drag this knob while holding the Alt key on a PC or its equivalent. So you see that dark area on the underneath the car. You want to avoid having too much red there. You do the same for this other part. I think this one controls the left one controls the dark. And then the right one controls the light. So you go back to your layers and you can see you go to adjustment, sorry, and then go to curves. So it curves, you want to slightly adjust that diagonal line there and get a slight S with it, a slight S shape, not S per se, but just slightly adjust it. Don't go too hard on it. That doesn't really look, I think that, that, that looks cool. That, that's not so bad. So you try to do an adjustment there, just mess around with it until you find something you like, something you, you're comfortable with. So um, when you're done with that, you want to go to brightness and tweak the brightness for that too. And then this one is um, the filter, warming filter, having, a, f having a, a warm filter to it really looks nice as well. So you just want to have find your way, you just don't mess around with the with the adjustment there and use whatever suits your work. So when you've done with that, you want to go to the layers panel and highlight all of that and then match them, excluding the original image. So you see how far you've gone, how far you've, or what the progress is like compared to what you have and what you've done so far. So when, as soon as you're done doing that, um, I'm working on two views, so I'm going to repeat that on this other view. Just Control J that, put the adjustment layer. This one is in is in time lapse, not to not waste much of your time. So we we'll do the same thing, adjustments, blah blah blah, and all that. So match done. So once you're done with this, you want to import a cloud image. You can download that from Google if you, have, if you don't have it on your computer. Then you drag the image, which is in which is um, could be JPEG or PNG, and drag it into the 3D view in Photoshop like this, and make the adjustments you need to. And then do the same for the other view. Do the same and drag it down if it's over. And then this one is um working on the backgrounds. These are PNG images. You can drag and drop them, adjust them, scale them as you want to scale. You can hold down Control T or its equivalents on a Mac to transform that. And drag those knobs. And when you're done, you click on that check. Or whatever. So um, now you keep adjusting and you can flip that horizontally if you like and then hold Alt while you drag with the left mouse button to make a copy of that image. Do the same for the other views and um, just play around and settle with whatever works for you. So you do keep doing that. You drag and drop. You can drag and transform. Control T on a PC. So import other PNG images. PNG images are images with, with a transparent background. These are things you can use incorporate into your designs to make the final render come out really nice and all that. So we want to do the same for I'll do the same for the other view. And once that is done, we'll do that, hold down the Alt key and left drag with the mouse to make a copy of that of that um picture, PNG file. So so we'll keep adding the the files to it is but don't don't be too generous with it so it, do, it doesn't there's not too much clusters of it everywhere so you want to make sure you are you you're modest with it and all that so you drag that put it if, if it doesn't show or remains is beneath you go to your layers and drag it up as i just did here so we can do the same with some other png files like this transform flip it horizontally if it's, if it's not not standing as you like so do that and drag in more images, more PNG files. Um, this this one works here, works perfectly. And for um, the grass, uh, if you can get a grass image and drag it onto the 
on, into Photoshop as does, add a mask layer to it, um, fill the mask to hide what's in there, and then use the brush tool and um, use the brush tool and uh, switch foreground to background color down here, and then subtly or um, pick out the the areas you want to expose as we need the mask. Don't want to be too generous with that. Just go slowly and until you get what you like. So once you're done with that, I think we just do the same with the other image. And um, I think import the grass image, add a mask to it, fill the mask, and then expose what's under the mask with the brush tool. So we can make a copy of that by holding Alt and dragging with the left mouse button, and then dragging it up to bring it on top of the grass image. So we can adjust that and do all do the rest is so and that's it it is looking all right to me you can make further adjustments as you like and um tweak it as necessary it, that's the fun of it just enjoy doing enjoy working with it i hope you found this video useful you can subscribe to my channel and click the notification button for more videos as this thank you for watching i'll get back to my miserable life